this video, I'm going to show you how to use the latest and newest features of component collections inside of Copilot Studio. You guys know this is one of my favorite parts of Copilot Studio, so let's check out what's new. So one of the new things is that we've got a new user experience and a new navigation for component collections. It's going to be right there for you so that you don't have to go into agents to be able to find it. Let's take a look at what it actually looks like now. So now inside of Copilot Studio, if you go over on the left hand rail and you click the ellipsis, you'll actually see component collections has been added. And now that we click into component collections, you can get a look at all your different component collections that are available for you. Not only that, you can search for them. You can go and explore them. You can do all of this. You can even create a new one so that this way I don't have to go into an agent to actually manage or create my actual component collections. So also be aware that the other thing that we can do is we can click in on one. So let's take a look at one and let's see what it looks like. So you can see here, now I've got this new capability to see component collections right in the top line nav and it's got its own management experience and everything. No longer do you have to go all the way into an agent just to be able to go see this. Now, if you want to go inside of an agent, know that we can continue to go inside of agents and go into settings and component collections and you will see what's available and you'll see the ones installed just like you did before. You'll even have an import button as well to be able to import component collections right from this location. But again, you don't have to go all the way down into your agent to do this, but you can also go there as well. So lots of cool new capability here and making it easier for people who are building with component collections to be able to manage them and see them and be able to build new ones just directly from the main interface. So one of the things that we also have added into component collections is to be able to easily import and export your component collections because component collections are meant to be built and then basically exported and shared into different environments. They have made it even easier to do this. So let's take a look at what they've done. So let's first take a look at what's happened with the ability for us to export. So let's just take our chit chat here and let's go into it. And you'll see right here, I have the ability to easily come out and just export the chit chat solution. And you'll see that what it's going to do is it's going to automatically go do everything it needs to do to package this up. I no longer have to go into solutions to, and create the solution and all of that. It'll take care of everything for me so that way I have everything I need to easily export it out and it will export it out it is a managed solution by default because that is what most people are going to want is a managed solution when they are ready to start to publish their component collection. And just like that, you can see I can easily come in and download my new managed solution that it created for me that's even been versioned to the next version and now we have our new chit chat generator. So not only have we added the ability to make it easy to export, but we also made it very easy to import. So if you go into settings and you go under component collections, if you need to import a solution, you can simply import a solution, browse to the location, grab your chit chat module and add it right back in and go through the process right here of being able to go in and add this chit chat solution you can see this one has already been added, but it's just that simple now for us to be able to go in and add. And we even have advanced settings for you to be able to see all the different things that are going on as part of the process. So again, super simple, lots of enhancements coming in just from the user experience and the import and export experience. So again, component collections are really meant for you to be able to collaborate on as reusable assets. And so you want to be able to share those. And so we also have added the ability to share component collections and to be able to set permissions on them. Let's go take a look at what that looks like. So when we want to go into component collections and we want to share one, let's go again into our chat chat one. We have the ability up here in the right hand corner now to have share. And once I do this, you can see I can type in the name of someone. So let's look for Amber. She's one of my coworkers, and you can see that Amber and I 
I can make her a viewer. So she can look at the component collection and see all its contents and things, but she can't change it or delete it. But that's an example of a viewer option, but we can also give her editor rights. And since she's one of the people that's gonna help me build this particular component collection, I'm gonna go ahead and share this with Amber and just say update. And just like that, now Amber is going to have the rights to be able to come in and collaborate with me in this environment for this particular component collection. And again, she'll be able to navigate right to it. Now, the thing is, I can also even copy a link of this and send it directly over to Amber so that that way she's got the information on where the component collection is, just in case she needed direction on it. So another great thing that's been added into component collections is primary agent. Primary agent is gonna allow you to be able to build component collections that you want to be able to break up your different uh, pieces of your project into different component collections, but maybe you don't wanna share those component collections or they're only intended for one particular agent. And so now what we're gonna have is we're gonna have the ability to call a primary agent. So let's see how that's done inside of Copilot Studio. Okay, so let's go into our component collections and let's go back to this chit chat one that we've been looking at all along. One of the things that you can do now is you can actually say that this chit chat component collection can only be used by its primary agent. So the only agent that it's intended for is the one it was built for. Now, how do I do that? I actually go over to the connected agent side and once I've got it connected to one and you can only have it connected to one to be able to see this, you come in and you click on the ellipsis here and I can say set as primary agent. Now that I've gone and I've set this as the primary agent for this particular component collection, if I go and navigate to another agent, so let's just go to this one. So now if I go up to settings and I go to component collections, while I'll be able to see this chit chat component in my list, I will not be able to actually add it to the agent. I can try to add it, but you'll see that it's only installed on this one. It will not allow me to actually install it in, no matter what I do. And the reason behind that is because it is set as the primary agent for chit chat is actually set. Now, if we go back into the actual component collection and go into chit chat, you'll see here that I can come on and remove it as the primary. And by doing this, I'll be able to go back to the agent that we were in before. I can come to settings, component collections, look at the available options, and I'll be able to add it to the agent. And in this case, because it is no longer a situation where it is a primary agent, it is now able to be added to multiple agents. Now, the main reason you would wanna do this is because you have a component collection that is only intended to be used by one particular agent, or you don't want it being shared around for other different uses. It's only intended for that particular use case. So just be aware that this is a great scenario if you just need to break up into multiple solutions for some reason, your different uh, agents that you're building. This gives you the ability to do that without the fear of someone taking it and being able to use it in other places. So another new exciting thing that's been added inside of the component collections interface is the ability to have a test, allow you to actually test your different configuration or your component collection against different agents. So let's take a look at how that actually looks like. So what we'll do is we'll go back into our component collections interface. We'll open up the chit chat and notice that over here on the right hand side, we now have a test pane. And in that test pane, you can select the different ones that are different agents that you have actually been connected to. So if, I, if you notice here, I can come in and I, I can add one to this particular agent here as well. And what you'll see is that it'll go ahead and add it in. And because I've done that, what's gonna happen is I have these different agents I can select. So let's just select one of these and I can say something to it like, hey there, I like cats, do you? And you're gonna see that what it's gonna do is it's gonna answer this question. It's gonna do it in the context of that particular agent. And then I could switch over to a different agent and I could say, you know, hey there, uh, how, uh, how are you today? And we can see what it would work 
like in that particular agent itself. So again, it's another great ability for us to not have to go and jump around and test this in different places. It gives us a really good interface to be able to go in and do that testing right inside of Component Collections interface as the maker of Component Collections. So the last new feature that I'm going to show you, I'm going to warn you, it can be a little tricky and you can break things when you do this one. So just be careful as the maker whenever you decide to use this one. And that is remove dependencies. This is going to give you the ability to go into a component collection solution and say that you want to remove the dependencies of something else as part of your component collection. Now, why would you particularly want to do this? You might have different assets that are being managed by different solutions within your organization, so they have a different release strategy than being packaged in the particular component collection you have. And let's say that you had a, let's say an AI prompt that was being called and you want to release that AI prompt independently of the component collection itself that's going to give you the ability to do this, but you just need to be aware that you could very easily break things if you aren't testing this and doing it in the right way. So just be aware. Uh, I would definitely say be warned that this is a really cool feature and definitely one that will give you ability to have that flexibility. But let's go take a look at how it actually works and just be careful with it. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can remove dependencies. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the component collection that we wanna do. We'll use the chit chat again as our example. We'll click on view solution, and when we view solution, we'll get into the actual solution interface that shows us where our chit chat uh, generator is. And you'll see here that we've got some different components here, but I'm gonna just select this top one and we can go in under advanced and you can say show dependencies. Now, once you show dependencies, you'll get a list of what are all the different dependencies that are inside of this. And you can go in and select the ellipsis again and remove dependency. So when you say you're going to do this, you're going to actually make this so that it no longer means this solution is dependent upon this particular item. Now, the key is that if you are going to remove the dependencies for it, just know that this is something that can cause things to break. So just be aware, again, firm warning, please don't do this unless you have a reason to do it. But if you have a reason to need to remove those dependencies so that you're not checking for those different uh, dependencies to make sure that everything is in order, then you can actually do it and then be able to publish and it will also import with no issue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and for more videos like this on Copilot Studio, please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, you can try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.